Hey, welcome back. I hope you're doing all right. I'm Paul Wright, and today is my third and final section of my three-part series on lighting. So you can go back and check out those other videos on hard versus soft light and some ideas on diffusion of light. And also yesterday I did a video on the quality of light, or the CRI. But today I want to talk about brightness, or intensity output, whatever you want to call it. Because if you're looking to buy professional video lights, it's a little bit hard based on the specs to figure out how bright things actually are. There is a measure of output, and that's lumens. So lumens was a scale that you used to see a lot. But the problem was different manufacturers were measuring at different distances. So some manufacturers were listing their lumen rating at one meter, some at two meters, some at three, and some at five. For some of those manufacturers, it just mattered what number looked the best on their spec sheet. And the other problem was lumens didn't effectively account for the actual beam angle of a different fixture. So when I talk about beam angle, it's kind of the spread of light coming out of the front of a light fixture. So you could actually measure two fixtures that use the exact same lamp, the exact same bulb in them. But one has a lens set that makes it a five degree lens and the other has a 30 degree lens. Well, obviously that five degree fixture is gonna appear a lot brighter. It's a lot more concentrated getting all that output into a small area than the 30 degree fixture. So here I have this GE bulb that we talked about yesterday and right on the bulb it's listed as 570 lumens. What does that even mean? It's pretty tough nowadays with all of these different kinds of light bulbs in the light bulb section of your store to actually know how bright things are compared to each other. When we had old incandescent style lamps, you could estimate based on wattage. And we all kind of knew what a 100 watt light bulb looked like and a 60 watt light bulb. So much so that when you go to buy LED bulbs, they actually have 60 watt equivalent LED light bulbs. But still that kind of wattage system is not a standard and it's probably not something that we can actually reference when we're talking about the actual output of our lighting. For a lot of professional video lights, they might boast that it has 150 watts and it's an LED source or it's 300 watts. Well, as nice as that sounds for marketing purposes, that doesn't necessarily equal extra output. And we're seeing this a lot now with manufacturers who are revamping old designs of their lights with new LED chips. All of a sudden, they use the same amount of power or a little bit less, so they're the same amount of watts, but you're getting way more brightness. So if lumens isn't a good system and wattage is also not a good system, how do we actually measure accurately light and compare one light to another? Enter the Lux rating system. Now Lux actually does account for the actual area that's being covered by that lighting fixture. So now you have lumens per square meter, but you still have to account for distance. Obviously, a light at one meter is gonna be much brighter than at five meters. But again, if you're looking to buy lighting fixtures yourself, my recommendation would be to go with a manufacturer who puts out thorough photometric data on each of their lights. So just like for CRI, manufacturers aren't required to actually list a lot of these specs. Okay, so one last reminder back from the diffusion section of this series. The more output you have in a light source, the more you have an ability to actually shape that light. Because you need more output to be able to bounce lights off of the ceiling or off of a wall. And you also need more output the more diffusion you put on your light. You can achieve a very, very soft light source for your videos, but you're gonna need a whole lot more intensity on the front end, and as that passes through the diffusion, you're going to lose a significant amount of that brightness. Again, I don't wanna make that sound like a bad thing because diffusion is awesome, and you should totally use it if you're not already it really helps make your videos look a whole lot more professional. All right, that's it for Output. Thanks so much for watching this series on lighting. I hope it was educational to you, um, and if it was, you can hit that thumbs up button down below. If it's not, or you're confused about anything, you've got questions, please let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to cover those on future videos, and uh, you can subscribe to the channel if you want. All right, thanks so much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another video.